Hi there, my name is James. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Move Data Raisley to Salesforce demonstration. So what we have here is a Raisley campaign and I'm going to sign up as a fundraiser uh, called Raisley Testing. So I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to set up my fundraising page. So it's called Raisley Testing. I'm putting in a reason why I'm fundraising. I'm going to change my target, my fundraising goal to $500. And I'm not going to join a team. I'm not going to start a team. I'm just going to register as a plain old fundraiser and hit sign up. So now I've created my fundraising page. I'm also going to click sponsor yourself and I'm going to make a $100 donation to my page. At this point in time, I'm also prompted to enter in a phone number and then an address, which you can obviously configure inside Raisley. I'll type in a message and hit next and up come my credit card details. So making a donation for $104.13. That's been done successfully. So now I'm going to head over to the Move Data Salesforce app and hit refresh. And you can see here there's a profile created with a status of successful. That's for the fundraising page. And there's also a donation succeeded currently executing. So it's currently writing it into Salesforce. So let me hit refresh again. And that's now successful. So if I type in Raisley testing, I can see that a few records have been created. I'm going to open the contact record first. And on the details tab, you can see that all the information uh, entered into Raisley is now apparent in Salesforce automatically. So we've got first name Raisley, last name testing. Uh, this is Salesforce nonprofit success pack. So it's of the testing household. And we can see the mobile number, which I entered into Raisley, as well as the mailing address. So this automatically constructs in real time in Salesforce using your Salesforce duplicate rules to manage for duplicates. And if I click on the related tab, you can see that this contact is associated with a campaign, Raisley testing, which you just created, as well as the opportunity for $104.13, which represents our donation. So if I open up the campaign record and click on details, we can see Raisley testing has been created. It is parented by the move data campaign, which is this macro level uh, move data campaign through which they're fundraising. Uh, we've got a start date of today's date. We've got the contact that we were just on is, is written as the, as the fundraiser behind this campaign. We've obviously got the URL. So these are really important in terms of great, I wanna do some downstream marketing to this person once they've signed up. We've got the message, the description that they wrote into their page, as well as some financial information. So when I signed up, I specified a $500 fundraising goal. That's the expected revenue in this campaign. And because I made a donation to it, we can see there's one, one, one opportunity, um, which is worth $104. So that's a quick view of the campaign tab. And if I, sorry, the campaign record, and if I click onto related, underneath opportunities, I've got my $104.13 donation. It is closed one. If we refunded it in Raisley, it would be marked as closed lost. So $104.13 by Raisley testing of the testing household to move data campaign Raisley testing as the primary campaign source. Today's date, this is the description that the person wrote in when they made their donation. We've got one payment receipt number generated from Raisley and all of the fee information. So this is the Raisley fee and the tax component. This is the Stripe fee and the Stripe tax component. So you can see uh, very easily, automatically, and in real time that Move Data will completely solve your data entries um, from a Raisley to Salesforce integration perspective. And also because this is all in real time, open the door for real time reporting, uh, real time segmentation, and real time marketing automation uh, to all of the contacts, opportunities, campaigns, etc., which are written dynamically to Salesforce.